Uh, my name is Harsha De Silva. I'm a member of Parliament for Colombo District. Certainly not. Why should anybody be discriminated against, whether it is LGBT plus or um, based on any other uh, criteria? No one should uh, be discriminated in a, a, a fair society. So the answer to that question is absolutely no. Well, I would tell them, uh, you know, why would you want to do this? Because it's not fair. Uh, people are born that way. Uh, some people are born with uh, brown hair. Other people are born with black hair. Uh, people are born in different ways. Um, you know, just like we don't uh, discriminate people uh, based on, um, or we are at least not supposed to, uh, based on their caste, gender, um, and so on. Uh, sexual orientation is also similar. Uh, they are born that way, and we need to accept uh, the different uh, people in society. Our party's position is that we believe every citizen uh, should enjoy the same rights, privileges and responsibilities uh, in material of, uh, like I said earlier, caste, creed, uh, sexual orientation, gender. Uh, so that is, that is our position. I think is unacceptable, completely unacceptable. Um, you see these laws that have, uh, you know, been there for, for over a century uh, need to be amended. Uh, the society is now um, advanced uh, enough to accept uh, the differences uh, of uh, the various citizens in our society. Um, arresting people for things that they have no control over uh, is um, absolutely not acceptable. So these changes ought to come and we as a society uh, must fight to decriminalize um, you know these issues that uh, like I said have been coming for decades perhaps centuries. So it's something that uh, needs to be urgently addressed. Well, like I said before, you know, we as a political party uh, treat every uh, citizen uh, equally. So we will have to, um, when in office, um, do what needs to be done. Sometimes parents may find it difficult to see eye to eye uh, with the LGBT uh, children. I know parents who's got uh, LGBT uh, kids um, and um, they have come to accept them uh, because uh, it is something that they are born with. So instead of, uh, instead of pushing them aside, uh, you know, it's best that uh, they are uh, brought into the fold um, and um, uh, be able to uh, somehow um, lead a happy uh, parent-child um, life, create that atmosphere at home. Um, sometimes it may be difficult, I understand, uh, but um, better than breaking up a family, you know, bringing everyone together, accept that these are things that the kids may not be able to change. And so um, figure out ways 
uh, in which uh, you can uh, continue uh, uh, sort of a uh, nice positive loving relationship yes i mean it is in the mind no i mean if one thinks that these are things that uh, can be and should be changed then they will sometimes fight to change that kid uh, but if they understand that these are things uh, that these kids are born with then they will not try to uh, change that kid so i think it's in the mind um, and um, if uh, families brothers and sisters mothers fathers and children cousins you know they they sit and discuss these things and come to ac accept uh, the reality i think um, i think uh, that's the way to go that's the way to go yes i have i have uh, several lgbt plus friends well i don't uh, consider them any special or different to my other friends Uh, my friends are friends because i value their company we think alike and uh, probably would enjoy the same things in life and um, have a uh, uh, sort of uh, dreams and hopes for ourselves and our families uh, into the future uh, i don't necessarily uh, consider uh, them or others any different to my other friends they are all friends of mine well i think as a society we need to make change um and uh, when i say um society yes lgbtq people also have to play their role uh in creating awareness bringing uh um, you know doing things like this uh, so that the greater society uh, is uh, made aware of the issues that uh, lgbtq plus people uh, face because sometimes they don't know um and uh, society as a a whole uh, must begin to um, accept the differences uh, between uh, non lgbt and lgbt people uh, and um, Uh, you see uh, you know create an inclusive society where everybody like i said at the beginning uh, would be able to enjoy the same rights privileges and responsibilities as citizens in this one society um so um, that's what i think needs to happen because a divided society uh, would never succeed uh, a society that would succeed is if it is united united in the differences of different uh, groups in uh, each society men women young old um, you know different uh, religious backgrounds different ethnic backgrounds different backgrounds in uh, sexual orientation you know by bringing everyone together we can create a colorful um, strong uh, society uh, that can that can succeed right fighting amongst ourselves is not the answer bringing everyone together is the answer Well I mean I want to wish all uh, LGBTQ uh, community for uh, happy pride month uh, but I think uh, more than that people need to probably understand what this is all about you know why this is celebrated you know 
and um, a lot of the uh, people in 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 our society uh, haven't even heard of pride month and what it stands for so i think there is a lot of awareness creation uh, that is necessary better together <laughs>